Si les parece, continuamos. Uh, nos hemos dejado de, de mencionar uh, al Consejo de Audiovisual de Cataluña y a su, a su vicepresidente, que tenemos hoy aquí y que uh, no, no, bueno, no, nos han, uh, no nos habían uh, informado en su momento, es el profesor y colega, eh, en este caso uh, un colega especial, en mi caso porque uh, yo he aprendido mucho de él, que es uh, uh, el doctor Salvador Alzius, y que en, en, este, en, en este acto viene no solo como, como colega, sino también como, como director del Consejo de Audiovisual de Cataluña. Bien dicho esto, eh, voy a presentar a Benoît Remacher. Merci de vous accepter à cette conférence. C'est un honneur de vous et c'est un grand plaisir. Eh, eh, Benoît nos hará la, la conferencia en inglés. Eh, Uh, pero antes quiero hacer un, un poco una presentación en castellano uh, de, de, su, de su trayectoria, que, que es muy interesante. Uh, es el responsable, Benoit, es el responsable de la, Dirección General de, de la Dirección General del Centro de Crisis del Servicio Federal de, de Bélgica, del Departamento de Interior. Es profesor universitario y además es una de las personas que más ha reflexionado desde la profesión, uh, digamos, uh, sobre, la, sobre el, el hecho de, de hacer de, de, de porte parola, ¿no? de, de, de Spockman, eh, de, del ámbito de crisis y emergencias. Eh, en este sentido, Ramaker ha sido el gestor de la comunicación de los atentados de Bruselas y de la posterior gestión de los atentados de, de París, que también afectaron de alguna forma Bruselas de una forma muy intensiva, como saben ustedes, por, por el hecho de que de que los terroristas estaban ubicados en, en, en un barrio concreto de Bruselas. De esta gestión comunicativa recordarán algo especial, y Benoit seguro que nos lo va a explicar muy bien, que es todo el tema de eh, eh, Twitter y los gatos. ¿eh? Se acordarán de los vídeos y de las imágenes de gatos como eh, respuesta, digamos, de la administración y de los ciudadanos, a la petición de la policía belga de que no se difundieran uh, rumores, pero sobre todo no se diera ningún detalle de dónde estaban los la policía, digamos, buscando a los terroristas. Y creo que esta idea uh, es una idea interesante que, que Benoit nos va a explicar, entre muchas otras. Esta, de hecho, esta estrategia y otras estrategias que ha, uh, digamos, planteado uh, Benoit, el señor Ramaker, Uh, creo que uh, nos pueden ayudar a entender mejor cómo comunicamos las crisis, cómo explicamos las emergencias y, digamos, de alguna forma, uh, cómo uh, podemos mejorar un poco nuestra praxis. De hecho, su larga y dilatada experiencia creemos que nos puede ayudar y por esto hemos invitado a, a Benoit Ramaker. Y, bueno, nada, muchas gracias. Merci por, uh, por venir. Uh, okay. buen día. When you want. Um, is it working? I hope. Yeah. Um, then my name is Benoit Ramacher. I'm responsible for the crisis communication at, at the national level in Belgium. I'm working for the crisis center, but I'm also the spokesperson, and I'm working with all the crisis communicator in Belgium for all services, all minister, all administration, because we need to be together. To have a good crisis communication. And I'm now explaining to you what is our way of working, how we do with social media in Belgium. And it's normal if I say at first time, listen, watch, read, feel, touch. It's important. We, have in, we had in Belgium different crisis situation with, um, th that are really important for us just to learn. And for example, we had a storm in a music festival, Buckle Pop. You, you have to imagine um, in the country, um, in the field, without any building, but thousands and thousands of people are listening to music and a storm is coming. And I guess in French, but I'm gonna explain. Um, the problem is that 
um, the cell phone didn't work at that time. Of course, there are too much people at the same place, at the same moment. And they start to use um, social media because there are young people at this music festival and they use social media all the time. And they start to tweet, I am okay. They start to use a special blog to say, I am okay. And the authorities are starting to think about, okay, they use it, we have to use it. It's one example, music festival with young people, a storm. What, which way can you use to communicate with these people? There's different tweets. Um, a lot of people are helping or saying, okay, I'm ready to help, I open my door or so on. Other problem, a shooting in the city, in a Christmas mart, a single person is shooting, uh, is shooting. The problem for us is the rumor. We wait two hours to be sure that there, there was only one people, one shooter. Because a lot of people saying, yes, I hear another shoot there. I saw something there. And the policemen are working all around to verify, to be sure. But we wait two hours because, before uh, communicate, OK, the one, there was one shooter and he's dead. But it takes two hours to send our first tweets. But we saw that on Twitter, a lot of people are tweeting about the situation, not from the city. The city is in the south of Belgium. If you look at the map, you see that a lot of Twitter, tweeters, are from the north of Belgium and Netherlands. But they are not on the field, they are not on the city. They, they don't know really what happened in the city. But we have to think about it. And of course, terrorist attack in Brussels. I'm going to explain it after, but first, it's really important at that time, and we use a lot the social media during the attack, just to interact, to be there with the people. I'm going to explain that after. And journalists, this is one of the famous journalists in Belgium, um, start tweeting our first communication. Journalists are our first partner during the first minute because they use also social media and as spokesperson, spokesperson of, of all the ministers, spokesperson of all the authorities are talking with journalists. And the journalists are talking in social media. And then they, they are giving our message, and they are giving guidelines in the first minute to the people. I'm going to explain it after this. This is the first message on Facebook. And we were a lot of, yeah, tweeted. I'm going to explain after. Yeah, that's the first message. That's the question. How to use social media in the chaos? We know at the first time we don't have any information. We don't know a lot of things. But people need to know a lot of things and share a lot of information. How could we use it? In Belgium, we start with a strategic vision. Because at the first time, we say, OK, come on, social media are important in our society. But we have to think about it. Not just run in Twitter, but just to have a strategic vision. And we share in 2013 a first crisis communication strategy for all the crisis communicator in Belgium. That's the first thing, first uh, document. We spread it, we share it with all communicator of the authorities in Belgium, just to give the same guidelines to everyone. And yes, of course, you have to use social media. Yes, but how using it? And then a few years after, we decide to share another document. And it's more an operational procedure. OK, we have a vision, but how we concrete do it? And I'm going to explain it. That's our concrete way of working. And now, this year, we are going to start a new, <coughs> new uh, project. We are um, now developing and operating um, Be Alert. And Be Alert is a system to alert people 
with um, different channels. Vocal message, short message, SMS on the cell phones, but also using social media in alerting. And the social media are including in our way of working with the alert of the population. It's not history. Our method. This is simple. This is our way, our way of working. Why? Because we, we changed our mind a few years ago. Um, if I'm going to talk with mayor or local authorities of some people who not really uh, have the feeling with crisis communication, they always say the same thing. We wait. We have to wait to have all the information. We have to be sure. We have to listen to the policemen, the firemen, the health, I don't know, a lot of people. And after a few minutes of hours, okay, I know what happened and I start to communicate. Two hours or three hours later. It's too late. And also, they start with a top-down communication. Me, I, as a minister of a mayor, I decide to say to the people, that's the truth. You have to do that. That's the situation. This view didn't work, do not work, in crisis situation. And we change our way of working. We decide to start our crisis communication with the monitoring and the analyze of what happened on the field, what feel the people, what are the perception and the needs of information of the people who are in the floats, who are near the fire. And then we start an analysis. And when we have feeling, the feeling of the people, we can start a strategy. We can start to think about, okay, we have to answer to this problem. We have to answer to the people. We have to answer to, the, to their perception and their need of information. What are we doing now? And after that, we start to write a press release, um, uh, send a message on Twitter or so on. Because when, when I wear, wear our local literature or so on, they always say, OK, we have a, a, a fire. OK, start a press, communicate, press release. No, maybe it's not the good way. You have maybe to decide to, to use another channel. I'm going to explain it. What, for example, as what I say, be alert. It's our, problem, our program for, to alert the population. Yes, we decide to developing now a technological platform to alert people with different channels. Not only vocal message on phone, normal phone, but also on cell phone to push SMS short message to the people who are around the place where something happened. We force the system, we push a message on all the cell phones around a fire, for example. And we decide also to use social media. Yes, of course, if we push message, I don't know, with, with the press, with journalists, we ask the journalists, okay, this is important, give the alert. We push a message on the cell phone and we push a message through the social media too. But you have also to think about risk communication with social media. It's not only crisis. In, on daily time, you have to use it and you have to inform and explain to the people what they have to do with social media in crisis. And we start now, in April, that's a few days, a specific campaign, information action through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, to give some tips to the people. We have a, a test, a questionnaire, a fact. Um, but also we have a small video just to, to give to people some yeah, tips. What have I to do on daily time with social media? to follow the official account, um, and what I have to do in crisis situation, not to share picture of victim, not to share rumor, 
share good information, help the authorities with social media. This is a lot of, this is an education to the media, to the social media for the people. And we started now in Belgium. But I'm gonna explain more what happened in March and how we use our way of working. First, you can say for me, yeah, I understand your process, you know, analyze a strategic action, but it takes time to do this. I said, no, it didn't take time. In 30 minutes, we have a good picture, a good view of what's happened and what we have to do, 30 minutes. But we have to be quickly, to do quickly things. Because social media or journalists, it's not 30 minutes, it's not one hour, it's minutes. And then we start the process, but we also directly start what we call a reflex crisis communication. What's that? It's easy. As spokesperson, journalists are always calling me, always, every time. And just want to know what happened. What could you say? And in the first minute of crisis, you have to say three things. We know, we do, we care. What we know? There is an explosion. Terrorist? I don't know if it's terrorist. There is an explosion. We do. We are now um, working uh, with the firemen to go to the explosion place. We are uh, putting a security measure with the policemen and so on. We do. That's what we do. And we care? Yeah, our priority is the victim. Are the victims. Our priority is the security. And then this three thing, we know, we do, we care, it's easy. I can say it every time, a few minutes after what happened in crisis, and I don't need um, agreement for my minister. I have a mandate. The, I have a discussion before with my minister, and he said, okay, if something happened, do it. I have a clear mandate, and my job is to structure this reflex communication. And in March, I did it. What you see in the above, you know, you see 8.15, I received the first information. Then the explosion is 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8.58, 8 o'clock. A few minutes after I received the first information, something happened in the airport. And in 8.15, I sent the first message. That's, this is my, uh, a screenshot of my smartphone. And this is a, the sh short message that I send to all the spokesperson of the minister and the national authorities responsible in crisis. And I said, okay, something happened in Zaventem. Zaventem is the airport. Explosion in Zaventem. Information as soon as possible, they are dead. We knew that they are dead. And I take 10 minutes just to have more information. I went to the crisis center to, okay, what's happened? Give me more information. I have to know what's happened. And 10 minutes later, I sent a second message. And this is our reflex crisis communication. We know, we do, we care. It's in French, but I could maybe translate. Um, it's easy. And I sent it to all the spokesperson. There is an explosion. We asked the people not to go to the airport. Our priority are the victim and the security. And I asked to the spokesperson not to talk about number of victims and explain what happened, what is the process. It takes time to save life. It takes time to be there, to take security measure, to have information, to confirm facts. It takes time. It's always the same in crisis situation. You have to accept that, but you have to explain that. I sent it and I saw after, because during the idea, I don't see anything on Twitter, but I saw that journalists, this is our tweet from journalists, journalists are doing their job. They are calling all the spokesperson. But I saw there that all the spokesperson giving the same information and the journalists sharing this reflex communication through Twitter. And we are going. This is our first message for the people, and this is a good start. In crisis communication, you have to good start. And this is our start. And then we start our process. This is this our picture from March. This is picture inside the crisis center during the attack in March. 
For the, for the monitoring analyze, we have a team with 50, 10 to 15 people who only are doing monitoring, just to listen, hear, read what happened. <coughs> and then, this is my picture, you, you see me. Um, my job is strategic, crisis communicator, and I take all the monitoring and the analyze, and I go with the minister. Oh, you know them, but uh, you didn't know them, but this is the prime minister in Belgium, minister of home affairs, minister of justice, governor, and uh, prosecutor, federal prosecutor. I was in this room with all the minister just to give them, to, to, to give them direction, guidelines in crisis situation to have their agreement. But I don't give to them all our tweets, all our texts, all our message. They didn't saw any message of me. They only receive our strategy. We have to do that, that, that. We follow this way, we give this message. Okay, do it, chop. And I go back to my team, and my team are writing um, texts, um, of publishing texts on our website, using social media. For social media, for example, we use Eight people. Eight people are using the Twitter account in Facebook page or a crisis center just to put to push message, but also to interact with people. And then the team with the communicator, with the monitoring, um, they, they start again. Are we answering to the good question? Are we giving the good information? To, uh, the per to answer to the perception and the need of the people. Yes or not? It's not? Okay, we go back. And I give a briefing and I explain and, uh, and so on. This is a continued process. And you need coordination because this is a picture of our coordination room um, only for the crisis communication. Huh? This is only for crisis communication. We were 40 people for crisis communication, 40. Because all the spokesperson and communicator for the minister are coming in the crisis center with us to speak about strategic crisis communication, and all the spokesperson and communicator from the authorities, police, secret services, foreign affairs, mobility, I don't know, everyone are coming also in the same room in the crisis center, and we were 40 just to work together to follow this process and to succeed in crisis communication. When you do a monitoring, it's not enough. You have to analyze it. And this is an analysis of what happened in the first hour in March. It's in French? No, it's Dutch. OK, sorry. Um, because we are working on different language for us, but not a problem for us. Um, what's important in that? It's the monitoring, it's not only to put all the tweets in a list, and then, OK, I saw all the tweets all the message from journalists, or rumor. No, we have to analyze it. And we create this table with three columns. Information, behavior, sense making. What are the information that are living, that they are sharing in the public? Also, fake news, also rumor. We take this, okay, they say that, okay. Behavior, what happened, what are the, um, the action of the authorities or of the people on the field, what happened? And sense making, are they critical? A subjective thing, the feeling. And with these three columns, you can have a view, a, a view of what live in the people. And we, share, we put also some picture of map because picture is so important. And with that, we can start to think about a strategic. What are the problems? What are the needs? What we have to do? The, the monitoring is good, it's important, but you have to do an analysis. And we, based on that, you can start your strategic communication. And this is, for example, what we give to the minister the, um, the 23rd, the, the second day, um, the Wednesday. We know, we do, we care, and we will be back. This is what I give at 8 o'clock in the morning during the first crisis uh, in the morning, the Wednesday. 
And I say to the minister, OK, yesterday we had a terrorist attack. Now we have to continue to communicate, to explain. And what are the feelings of the people? What are what they need? And we have to communicate. We know, we, know, we do, we care, and we will be back. And then uh, different things that we identify, mobility, um, even social life, the problem, juridic problem, juridical problem, uh, what are the security measures, what are the solidarity, what about solidarity, and so on. And then we decide to act. We not start directly acting, yes, we act. Uh, we start, I think, around 8.30 and 9 o'clock, then 30 minutes after the first explosion, we start really to act in crisis communication. And we decide to start with um, one central website, the website of the crisis center. The other authority are not putting information about the situation. Everyone say, OK, come on, one central website, crisis center. <laughs> one central me social media, crisis center also. Um, we open one national call center, one number for all the country. Uh, there were 125 operators just to manage the call uh, during the call center, for the call center. And yes, press contact, we have a lot of press contact. Social media. Yes, we communicate with social media, we interact. We give more information in French, Dutch, English, Spanish, Italian, because, yes, there's a lot of language and we use a lot of langu different language. Um, but the more important, it's the interaction. Yes, you have to communicate, to uh, give guidelines, but you have also to answer and to share what happened or to manage a little bit. For example, uh, the number of the call center, um, there's some people start to share a, a fake number. It's not the good number, it's a wrong number. Then you have all the time to say, okay, no, it's not the wrong number. Change your tweet, delete it, share this number. Then we have to manage it. We also uh, start to answer for people, for example, tip right, my wife works for the commission, European Commission in Brussels. Can I pick her by car? Official directive, stay where you are. And we say during hours, because the only thing that we have to say to the people, stay where you are. At work, at school, at home, wait. We have to freeze the situation. We have to be careful because maybe they're gonna have another explosion. Just be, and we are gonna be where you are and we're gonna explain you what happened after. And after hours, we can say to people, okay, come on, you can go home, you can move and so on. But I remember um, a colleague of me was working on social media and she's, starting crying a little bit because she said all the time, we don't have information. But she knew that. She knew what happened in crisis. She, she knew that we don't have any information in crisis. But at the moment, she's going to be a little bit in panic. And I say, to her, stop. Go out, breathe, come back. It's normal. Just be there. Be, <coughs> um, be empathy. Um, be have comprehension for what happened. I have comprehension for people who they don't know what's happened. Okay, it's normal. But answer, and you have to answer all the time the same thing. Yes, we understand. Yes, we, have, we can confirm that, that, that. We ask you to do that. Stay where you are. But that, that, that. That's more important. Some big social media company or media com web company help us uh, directly. Uh, I think less than one hour after the first explosion, I had contact with Twitter. Twitter contacts me, I said, what can we do for you? Everything. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> okay, come on, <laughs> do. Um, and what they do, the, the blue first things, they share this um, on all the Twitter um, account, all the Twitter uh, yeah, application of all the people who are living in Brussels or Belgium, I think. Everyone on Twitter opened the Twitter and they saw that. Okay. Official information about terrorist attack follow crisis center. That's great. They also open our account to all the people, not only to our followers. That's great. Facebook starts um, safety check 
and we give to, to Facebook the good information about the number of the call center, the, um, the URL of uh, our website, and so on. And Google is the same. Google also put on the home page of Google search some information about what happened and where are the official sources of the information. And they put it on the home page. Some, yeah, numbers. Uh, website. If you had a website in crisis website, it's really important. You, you see the pic, you see yeah, it's huge. But we work with uh, our ICT just to clean our website. For example, our crisis website, the crisis center, is our daily website. One hour after the attack, they clean our website. What, what it means? They unpublish all the archive, archive, out news. They unpublish all the pictures and only simple page. Okay, unpublish all the the thing is not important, but the website has to stay up to be good. And it works. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, yeah, that's impression. That's, yeah, a lot of numbers. It's no more such a such situation. Um, and contact center, yeah, a lot of people. For me, what I keep in my mind for social media and what happened in Brussels is just be there with them and for them. Some people are afraid with social media, but that's, that's not normal because social media are in our life. You like them or not, but they exist. Then just be there. Show that you are there. You don't have all the information. You cannot answer to all the questions, but you be there. And with them, you have to to have more comprehension of, of what happened. Comprehension from the panic of people, the um, uncomprehension of people, uh, it's normal. <coughs> then you have just to listen. They need to have uh, her here. Um, you need to prove that the authorities, the National Crisis Center of police, of so on, you have to prove that the authorities are not alone in the room, in the bunker, in the I don't know in English, Ivor Tour, Tower. You have to be on the ground with the people. Okay, I'm, we are with you. We are there and we are comprehension. Okay, we interact. And you are for them. For me, the more important in crisis situation is not to have a top down communication. It's we are for you. Okay, we're going to explain you. Okay, we have some guidelines, we have some security measure, we have to explain something. But the objective, the, 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 the thing that we have to do is to answer to their needs. And we receive a lot of yeah, feedback from people uh, during this moment, difficult moment. And I think it was important for, for the crisis communication in Belgium. Um, but we feel it since one year after a month that it's growing up again and again. And um, yeah, for me, it was an experience. This is our contact if we need to follow us. Uh, and now I'm available for some questions. Thank you. Si tenéis preguntas para señor Ramaker. Tenemos el micro, levantáis la mano. Thank you. Congratulations for your uh, your speech. If the if the wars in in an emergency situation is the rumors, what's your opinion about the 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 job uh, of the of the of the team boss of the virtual operation support team in this uh, kind of situation? Uh, they can help us. Um, for me, uh, it's more um, an education for all the people for the social media. And the rumor of always existing, existing, and with through social media or through other way. But during such crisis situation, it increased in norm. And OK, it could be a problem for security measure or for panic. And then the, the, the VOST, virtual operations support team, 
or helping the authorities just to educate also the people, just to be, be quiet, share this information, be careful. Uh, some thing that everyone had to know, no, a normal situation, but it's not now. Then we need some votes, some people who are more expert like that, and to help the authorities to not to manage the social media, because we cannot manage it. But you have to be in the social media. Then for me, the votes could help the authorities, but the authority have to change their structure and their mind to accept that and to work with what they do. Because if we are not working together, we are two parallel words, and okay, what's happened? No, we have to work together. Then we have to build a bridge, uh, we have to build some link between voice and authorities um, to work together in the same direction. That's important. I agree, thank you so much. Thank you. Last question is? Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, do you know who is your counterpart in Spain, if uh, in this case, if you are in contact with them, in touch with them, uh, to, to try to, to, uh, uh, to share your experience? In Spain? Yes. No. Uh, I meet some people in different international conferences, but I don't have um, regular contact. But in, with France, Netherlands, Luxembourg, uh, UK, or Dutch, and I know a lot of people, yeah. But it's important um, to have the good contact. We can have a lot of network, a lot of different people, but you have to have the good one. And that's important. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Even the, the, the negative uh, uh, answer, it's a good answer for us, for me in this case. Gracias. More questions? No. Thank you. I have a question regarding the, the circle you defined of analysis, strategy, advice, approach, elaboration, and effect. You think all this circle could be done faster in a shorter time if you already had a risk panel and use the intelligence of the state or, or the government to check on the risk you could have in future so you could elaborate some in a previous state some of the messaging or the, or the strategy you would develop, or every crisis is so different that you cannot reply it? You, I, yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, I'm going to be really direct. It's an old way of you to prepare templates, to prepare tweets, to prepare strategy. Um, you have to have um, a way of working, a process that could be used in every crisis, every situation, because a crisis is different every time. A local crisis, a small one, and a big one. For example, in a few weeks, two weeks ago, I think we had um, a chemical cloud in a little municipality. During two hours, they were completely lost, and they start to call us, help us, please. Okay, after two hours, huh? okay, you start two hours after, okay. and. For such a little situation, because all the people were evacuated, there's no a lot of problem, but the, the feeling are really difficult and um, a lot of panic, anxious for the <laughs> earth and so on. We start a process and 20 minutes after, we could change the crisis communication. But so a specific situation, it's not the same as like a big float of a earthquake or a terrorist attack, that if you had some text, prepare text. Okay, I have a, my text, I send it. No, you have to change every time the text. Every time you then. Then I'm not for um, all the templates. I prefer to have a good way of working, the good network, people know how working, and we start directly. And we start with the monitoring, what's happened in this situation. Okay, to, to, to prepare a text, to write a text, it takes a few minutes if people are really expert. Okay, to, oh, come on, tweet, check, up. And, it takes no a long time. It takes more time to change the templates, I think. Yeah. I, was, I was asking because London does this, like they, they analyze the risk, and so they, they define some of the situations they might find in case of 
emergency. But so that was I asking. You can have basic information that you can use in any situation. For example, um, in nuclear accident, you have to ask the people to stay at home. But you can explain what does, does it mean, stay at home. And you can have a, a basic information, okay, you have to do that, 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 that. It's okay, but we have such basic information in our risk communication. We have a website, risk risk.info.be, um, with different risk and different information who are always good. Okay, but these are how to evacuate, for example. Okay, what does it mean, evacuation? Um, but this is basic information. But crisis communication, I prefer to be free of templates. Okay, thank you. Tenemos dos preguntas más. Hay alguna pregunta más? No. Good morning. Congratulations for your presentation. Uh, in Berlin or in London, we saw that Metropolitan uh, Police or Berlin Police uh, was in charge uh, with the social media. I don't know in Belgium uh, how do you work with the police from Belgium, or you are only the only spokesman in social media to speak about uh, a terrorist attack, for example? Not at all, I'm not the only. But my job is to coordinate all the crisis communicators, all the communicators for different authorities and services. And I'm working all day with, uh, every time, with the uh, police and so on. It depends on the situation. With some specific situation, it's not the crisis center who, are, who was going to communicate. We decide now, it's better than the local police of the federal policy have to communicate. And then we shouting of mouth. We are not talking. Crisis centers stay in the shadow. And it's the police who are communicates. But we decided together because it depends on the situation. We also have some local situation with terrorist threat of terrorist problem. But we decide not to communicate just to not to increase the situation, to, to be so calm, to calm the situation. And we decide that, that the local policy are going to communicate. But we're giving to the local policy a lot of advice, strategic advice, tips, and so on. And we help the local policy to communicate. And all the journalists are running to the local policy. And we have an agreement with all the spokespersons. OK, everyone is agree, local police. But it depends on the situation. You have to feel it. If you have, for example, a fire, problem with a fire in the building of someone, we decide the first time to, um, to give the, the spokes, the, the spokesman was the, the fireman. And we didn't communicate. The, 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 the voice and the, the face of the crisis was the fireman. But we helping the fire and local service and so on. Yeah. Then, yes, all the other services in Belgium and police have a Twitter account, have social media, communicate, but um, in function of the feeling of the situation, we decide who has the lead. But we work all the time together in, in the shadow, in the coulisses, in the, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your talk. I'm a bit intrigued by the use of Trello. I'm a big fan of Trello, ah. <laughs> but I use it for, uh, for other purposes. Yeah. But I was intrigued by, by, by the process that you use to monitor and to map the whole process. And uh, I wonder if it's, it, it's a way that you gather all the flow from Twitter, and, or, or do you take decisions constantly during the process according to the representativeness of the, of the messages? and the things that are happening, because I imagine in, a, in, a, in an event of a terrorist attack, the, the amount of tweets can be huge. So how do you manage yeah. the amount of information and at the same time monitoring and tagging or managing this, this okay, analysis? For the, um, it's difficult, but we, we have an organization for the monitoring. There were 10 to 15 people just for the monitoring. We share the mission. You work on Twitter, you work on Facebook, you work on media, normal media, you work on radio, TV, okay. And we share the language also, Dutch, French, English. We share the, the mission. 
And at the first time, for the first hour, I just say, give me information. But after a few hours, I say, okay, I need information from that subject, that thing. I need more perception about that, about that, because we have to change a little bit our communication. What are they saying about staying at home? Okay, we say stay at home. Are they feeling good with that? Okay, they were looking after information but stay home. Then we, we give guidelines for the monitoring, we share the mission, and we use um, a tool. It's Kusto. I don't know, it's a Kusto. It's helping to, to have a filter, to have more graphic, to show also the influencer on Twitter, for example, and it's important to contact the influencer, to give them with direct message some information. Um, but I think the more important is the human perception. I need human or looking what happened, feeling what happened, and different people. And people who are also um, more sensitive, maybe. Uh, I have a few people in my team who are really um, a little bit afraid or in panic also. And I say, come on, breathe and help us. Because use that feeling to give to us what are the perception and problem, and we have to, to answer to that. That's, yes, it's managing the monitoring also. And we use Trello only to have a synthesis of uh, Trello and analyze just to show to the ministers. I, I show Trello to the minister. I say, okay, that's what happened. That's what, because when you went to the minister after, uh, before I go to the minister and I say, okay, I propose to do a press conference. Why? I propose to give this message. Why? And it's every time the same. Crisis communicator, everyone communicates. Everyone have an option and have an ID to communicate. I prefer that, I prefer that. Why do you use this word? And the first time they, when I read all my message, as a fireman come in the crisis room and say to the, to the mayor, we have to use water for this fire, no one say other thing. You are sure that's water? No, but as a communicator come with a strategy, message, everyone gonna say, okay, I prefer this word, I prefer this. Oh, are you sure with that? Stop, it's my work. Just be trust with me, let me do my job. Just, I need just agreement about good strategy, big keywords, so on, okay, and then I have my team. That's important. Si no hay más, pre no hay más preguntas, lo dejamos aquí. Thank you, uh, thank you, and um, thank you for, for, your, for your conference, and uh, congratulations, because I think it's a, uh, uh, a good reflection for I hope for uh, no no for uh, the professional and, and academic uh, uh, segment. Thank you. Uh, ahora continuamos con, con la presentación del proyecto. Vamos un poco tarde, pero pero vamos a ir más rápido. Esto depende de nosotros cuatro. Ahora van a venir más mis colegas y haremos un break en media hora o un poco menos. O sea que si tenéis ganas de café estáis uh, muy poco de, de tomarlo, ¿vale?